Yeah, you're right. It's not for uh, four premiership points, which is um, what you play footy for, really. But uh, it is exciting that uh, I'll be putting on a new jumper and playing with some new teammates that I haven't played before, apart from that training. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a new look forward line. So uh, to get that cohesion is pretty important this time of year, I reckon, and I'm looking forward to that. How do you think it is going so far, the cohesion? Uh, well, off the field, it's pretty good. But um, it's hard to tell, really, until we start playing some games against some real opposition and um, and things like that. So it's been going well at training, and I think uh, we're in a great spot um, physically. Um, so we've got to take it into this week and see how we go. How's the pre-season going for you when you arrived? You said you're going to play every game. Are you still feeling good in your body? Oh, I didn't say I was going to play every game. I think I'm going to try and prepare to play every game because I think it's uh, doing a bit of an injustice to the club if I don't prepare like that. Um, so I'm in, a, I'm in a good place. I think the fitness staff have done a fantastic job with the whole group. To be honest, and now it's up to uh, up to us to um, sort of prove that, that they, the things that they've done with us um, is, is all good and all right, and we've got to start winning some games. We well, need a rest occasionally. Chubby said at Essendon yesterday, aiming to play 16 games of the manager's body. Are you in that mindset at all? Or? Yeah, I saw that article. I think um, I think with the way AFL is now, there's a bit of a rule change with the interchange. I think most clubs don't know how players are going to fatigue, when they're going to fatigue during the year. So it's hard for me to say that I, I'll need a rest round five or I can only play so many games. So uh, let's just get the season underway and see how the rotations um, sort of play out and how long guys spend on the ground. So I think uh, I wouldn't be the only one that probably will be feeling the pinch. And you've seen your new teammates up close for a few months now. How excited are you at the potential of the forward line? Uh, I'm excited about the whole group. To be honest, I think their professionalism at the club has been sensational. As I said, the fitness staff have done a great job and the, and the coaching staff have done a, um, a remarkable job in teaching these players on what it takes to win games of footy and, and play a certain style. So um, from my end, coming in as an you know, older, new player, um, it's one thing that's really stood out. Has anything changed your perception of the Crows from the outside now that you're on the inside? Are they, is it how you thought they'd be? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty wary about judging teams from the outside, to be honest. Um, I don't really like doing that. I think you get caught in a bit of a trap. So being internally, I think um, yeah, they've proven to me that the, I made, made the right decision on coming here. And um, as I said, they're very professional, very diligent, um, and they're very hungry too. And playing against Port Adelaide this week, no, it's not a real showdown, but Give you a snapshot of that rivalry up close? Yeah, I've got a snapshot on the community camp the last couple of days. I mean, Crow supporters have asked about the Port Adelaide games and, and whatnot. Um, yeah, for me, I think uh, it's just about getting uh, getting your match fitness up and and um, getting some touch on the ball and um, forget about the opposition just with no disrespect. But um, we've been working on things internally um, that we've got to continue to work on. That's where, where they're doing on the weekend. What's it been like playing alongside Eddie Betts? You know, we've seen him at training and stuff. Yeah, he's very impressive. I think uh, from what I've seen off off the training track too, he's um, he's taken a bit of a mentoring role with some of the younger guys um, straight away, which is something I didn't know too much about Eddie. Um, but on the training track, he's he's as vibrant as he is off it. So um, his skills and execution during training is fantastic. And I think uh, any player you speak to, any coach you speak to, would probably um, have the same sentiments. It's more of a key forward. How much confidence is give you knowing that there's someone with? Such skills as Eddie, you know, running around underneath. Yeah, as a as a component, Channel Nine, how are you going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think as a forward line player, um, you do rely on the the five other forwards, and not to mention the midfield and the backs around the whole team. But um, being just a key forward in a in a big forward line, you rely on the whole team to um, kick to the right spot, kick it to the, at the right time, and also um, the forward pressure side of um, the small forwards, Eddie Betts in particular, um, we get reward on with that as well. So it is a, a team within a team. Has your role been defined yet? Are you stay at home forward, patrol the goal square, or are you going to move up the field a bit? Has that role been defined for you? Yeah, I think if you if you've sort of watched footy the last couple of years as a key forward, that that stay at home forward's probably gone out of the game a little bit, so you've got to be pretty versatile with the way you play. Um, I look at the, the best forwards in the comp and they can play up the ground um, deep, they can take marks on the lead, they can take contested marks, so I think um, from my perspective I've got to do everything that, um, that allows me to get into a game and it, it allows me to, and the team to um, sort of be able to rely on me whether I'm deep, up the ground or whatever, so I'm not too sure whether there's a specific role. 
it's a bit of everything. And physically, how do you feel compared to other pre-seasons? Um, look, I feel like I'm ready to play. I feel like I'm uh, probably played three weeks ago. Um, so I'm just sort of ready to go. I'm pretty. Uh, I don't really like making comments. I had the best pre-season, or I feel f fantastically fit because it uh, it just puts too much pressure on an individual when it comes to games. So the proof will be in the pudding when um, four points up for grabs. How strong is competition for a spot in that forward right now? Oh, it's, it's strong and that's a really good thing. I think uh, from my perspective uh, and, and Eddie and, and some of the experienced guys, if we're not getting a game at the Crows, it means they're winning, I think, because uh, I'll be doing and Eddie and Tex will be doing everything we can to, um, to play AFL football and if we're not playing, I reckon the Crows will be winning. And when do you expect to see Tex back? Uh, do you want me to get the physio in and I'll see what he says? Because <laughs> I actually don't know. Um, he's training really well, he's training with, with the group. Um, they're obviously holding him back because he's such an important part of um, this footy club and, and the team, so hopefully uh, in the first couple of rounds. Is it hard knowing that obviously you get a forward line sort out early in the year at some stage early, he's going to come back and maybe change the dimension at all? Or have... uh, it's actually exciting because I don't think uh, Tex is a player that wouldn't get in the way of any of the, the things that are going on when he gets back in the side. I think he's uh, actually quite um, selfless the way he plays his footy from what I've seen on in Vision. So from that perspective, it's, uh, it's going to be really great to see him back in the team. Have you outlined your preference for certain things, whether it is to play deep or to get the ball in certain spots, or are you happy to just adapt to the, to the style? Yeah, I'm happy to play back line, I'm happy to play forward line, it doesn't really matter to be honest. I think uh, the way the coaches are structured the pre-season is they've educated um, all the players on playing every position out in the ground. So I think the Crows list is going to be the most versatile list and the comp if it's going to be successful. And um, so for me individually, um, I'm, I'm in that boat as well. So could you play back? Is yeah, I'm happy, yep. I'm happy to play back. Has the Crows spoken to you about that? Obviously played a bit down back at the Cats. Uh, I think we've been focusing a lot of uh, our energy and our, and our time on getting that cohesion in the forward line. Yep. And then uh, once we get that, I think, um, you know, if, if, uh, if an opportunity comes up that they need me down back or where it is, um, I can sort of uh, go down there. But at the moment, our focus has been on the, that cohesion side of things. How do you develop that? Um, so, the non-South Australian or this and that side of you, what was your opinion of the, the jump debate? Did that sort of amuse you a bit or...? Um, wow. Well, I don't know where to go with that because, um, yeah, obviously coming from the border, I didn't really uh, see much... You know what, I, uh, I like the look of the jumper, to be honest. Um, but I can understand the, the, maybe the, uh, the argument that is out there at the moment. But um, I'm not really prepared to... I don't really have an opinion on it, to be honest. Didn't think you were inside about the four crows? So. Well, that it did. That it did. So, if anything, the, uh, the jumper was, has come and gone, but it gave me an insight on the, uh, on the rivalry in South Australia. How do you develop the cohesion? Is it a playing time sort of thing? Or do you say to the boys, I want to get the ball here and feed off? Yeah, how does that work? Oh, it's definitely a playing time thing. We're doing a lot of match simulation drills um, with the same sort of forward line um, throughout the pre-season. So it's getting better and better. And just knowing where you're, you're patterning and you're, um, where another player runs and how they kick the ball, how far they kick it. It's just the simple things, how clean they are. Um, things like that is uh, the thing you need to know. And it only comes through playing games. So you're standing around with Tony Modra a little bit yesterday. Do you have any advice or are you just chatting with him? Or? Um, I was just nice to meet him. Obviously, he's a he's a great of the club and um, lives down the, the surf coast down there. So it was just great to see him there. I actually had his daughter um, at the clinic I did, and uh, she put her hand up and said, um, "My dad used to play footy." And I said, "Oh yeah, who's your dad?" And she goes, "Oh, he's on this ball." And she held up a boy, a Tony Modra ball. So I signed it and wrecked it for her. And um, <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, so he, it was fantastic to meet him and. Um, He's, he, we did say we'll catch up during the year and he'll definitely be at all the Crows games he can. Did he give any pearls of wisdom to you? Um, no, he's got a, I love his strong hairline, that's all he said. <laughs> he's got a stronger hairline than I've got, so. <laughs> yeah. All good?